Right now, they are in about a cup and a half of whole milk in a clean glass jar with a loose-fitting lid next to my pellet stove. The sweet spot temperature for the fermentation is 75 degrees Fahrenheit, and this stage is called the reviving period. Seems the grains need to feed and regain strength, rebuild a colony of bacteria and yeast, before you can use them to make kefir. The process can take three to six days, depending on the health of the grains. This DIY kefir is touted to have over 50 different strains of beneficial probiotic bacteria and yeasts where the store bow contains 10. Cultured yogurt has maybe 7 and cultured buttermilk just 1. Only downside to this option is there's some maltodextrin in this, but it is nearly negligible. Simple to make, just heat milk to just before boil, add a packet of kefir starter after it cools to 77F, then seal in airtight container until curds form and place into fridge to stop the process.